Hey guys, here in this video, I'm trying to explain you what is the important of security groups in our EC2 instance. So, in previous videos, we have seen how we can launch our uh, Windows and Linux EC2 instances. So, for both the instances, we need security groups. So, let me quickly launch an EC2 instance and let us discuss the importance of the security groups. So, when you click on launch instance, I'm selecting free tier only. I'm taking Amazon Linux AMI, T2 Micro, and I'm going with all the default options, storage, I'm going with eight gigs. And um, here in step six, we need to configure the security groups. So based on our launching operating system, we need to open appropriate port numbers to get connected to that instance or to get services from that particular EC2 instance. For example, as I have selected Amazon Linux AMI, so like this machine, this instance is going to run in Amazon's global infrastructure. So I am somewhere else in Hyderabad and uh, I'm trying to connect to, to that particular EC2 instance. So then how I can get connected? So I should get an option for that as that is a Linux instance, we must open SSH. So secure socket, uh, secure shell. So the port number 22 must be open. And if it is a Windows machine, RDP, Remote Desktop Protocol, 3389, so that must be open. And if you configure this machine as a simple web server, and you are trying to deliver a website from this application, uh, from this EC2 instance, so HTTP must be open, so that runs on port number 80. So, HTTP, yes, secured over HTTP. So you need to open port number 443. So like MSSQL, you need to open port number 1433. So then only we can get data from, we can get connected to this instance. So otherwise there is no option to get connected. So now I'm selecting SSH and for SSH and for RDP, so these two are connecting, this is for connecting to Linux instance. This is to get connected to Windows instance. So we can give or we can put this source as custom. We have multiple options. You can give custom, you can give any network IP or else you can give another security group ID or you can give VPC CIDR block. So that is a custom. The second one is anywhere. So anywhere means 0.0.0.0 slash .0, 0, .0, 0, .0, 0, slash 0 or colon 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 slash 0. So this means you can sit anywhere from the world if you have valid permissions or if you have valid username and password to perform this SSH, you can. Whether you are in your home network, whether you are whatever the country you are, and you can sit even in a coffee shop and you can get connected to your EC2 instance if you have valid credentials. And third one is my IP. When you select this my IP, it is going to pick up currently connected networks public IP address. So you can get connect from only that particular network. So you can give any other network ID. So like um, you can give slash 32. So automatically it's going to pick up. So I'm going to select my IP mostly. Uh, like for SSH and RDP, we are going to set it our my IP or else our corporate IP address. For HTTP, that's fine. You can give it to anyone. Again, MySQL. So that is an important one. That is a database. So we are not going to open to all. So these databases, SSH and RDP. Okay, so here I have set it up to my IP, then click on review and launch. So I'm using a key pair to get connected. 
that is a pem file so now you need to convert that pem file to ppk file so if you don't know how to do that so refer to our video linux instance launch video we have that and i'm going to use putty application to get connected to this ec2 instance still in pending state right so it is in running state now so i'm going to use an application called putty so then default username is ec2 iphone user at the rate the public ip address under connection expand ssh select authentication and browse your key pair so then click on open just give yes a small fingerprint and i'm going to elevate my privileges to root sudo space su so now i'm going to make this as a simple web server and if you observe i've successfully connected to this ec2 instance without any issues so now if i switch to any other network even if i have valid um, uh, putty private key and valid credentials to get connected to this ec2 instance i cannot why because security groups is configured in that manner so basically security groups are firewall at instance level we can control the access and we can only allow the traffic there is no option to deny the traffic only we can allow and we are going to have a default security group that is going to allow all the traffic to the same security group itself so that is nothing but loopback we can assume that as a loopback security group and every security group is going to have inbound rules and outbound rules when you create a new security group by default it is not going to open with any other port number in inbound and it is going to allow all the traffic in outbound okay let's look into that so that i'm going to make this as a simple web server by installing httpd package so yam install httpd iphone y now this is going to be a web server now so i'm going to start the service service httpd start so then i'm going to make this as a logon service all right so now let us try to access this i'm going to grab this public dns and i'm try to get that web page so we can use either public dns or public ip address it's trying to load it's trying to load and it's going to be failed the reason is whatever the security group we have attached to this ec2 instance if you observe this inbound rules it just opened with only port number 22 and http is not opened so this is inbound rule if you observe outbound rule it is allowing all the traffic so basically the security groups are stateful so that means whatever the port you are opening in inbound automatically the traffic is going to allow for outbound also so now i'm not able to get this page it is showing error connection timed out so basically that instance is not able to deliver that my machine is trying to hit this web server but it is not able to deliver so now i am going to edit this security group accordingly i am going to inbound click on edit i am going to add a rule http again you can set it anywhere or else you can set it my ip click on save now i have set it to my ip if you go here if you give a quick refresh there you can see it is showing and test page so now even if i gave this ip address to any other user if i ask him to access this website he cannot access that the reason is my http is designed to deliver to only one particular network and if you observe outbound all the traffic is allowed that's fine so as security groups are stateful so we need to take care about inbound rules so now if i want to make this application or this website available for everyone throughout the world so then i can set this to anywhere 
click on save so now when you set this anywhere we got two this is for ipv4 this is for ipv6 networks so here you can see we can so instead of this i'll create a simple index.html file and a var www.html here i'm going to create index.html press i to go to insert mode html and the title Oops. title is sz demo so then closing the title all right so now give a quick refresh okay i'm able to get this and here you can see the title and the header so now changes to the security group is going to take effect immediately for example now i'm able to get access to this and i'm going to remove this http port and if you go here if you give a quick refresh there you can see it's trying to load it's trying to load and it's going to be failed so security groups are very very important the common port numbers we need to open is ssh rdp stdp and stdp yes so based on our requirement what exactly port for example so this machine is up and running and we are able to get connected to this instance but let me try to ping this instance i'm trying to ping this ec2 instance So the public IP address is 13.2.33.109.118. It's trying to ping, it's trying to ping, and it's going to be show request time dot why because but basically request time dot will come when the server is unavailable. But now my server is up and running. I'm able to get connected, but still it is showing request time dot. The reason is security groups is not allowing this instance to give replay. So this is a firewall at our instance level. So again, if you want to just go here, custom ICMP role, echo reply. So then again, I'm going to set it to only my IP, click on save. So let's understand this, click on enter. I'm not able to and edit, add another rule, custom ICMP echo request. And again, I'm going to set it to only my IP. Let's try to run this. There you can see it. Now I'm able to get it. Now I'm able to get ping response from this EC2 instance. Again, if you remove this, immediately it's going to stop. So security groups, whenever you are facing any issue, your troubleshooting should start from security group. That's my sincere suggestion. And we have a couple of important points for the security group. So here, um, I'm on official uh, Amazon website for uh, security groups for Linux instances. So by default, security group allow all outbound traffic. If you observe, it is allowing all the outbound traffic. Even whenever you are creating a new security group, click on create security group. And here is a security group name. So new SZ iPhone demo. And if you observe inbound, there is no port open. If you observe outbound, it is opening all the traffic 0 to 65,535 port numbers. So all we need is we need to take care about inbound. Again, these security groups are going to exist within VPC and these security groups are going to associate with our EC2 instance NIC cards, elastic network interface cards. Again, so if you want to look out for that NIC, here is a network interface. So I have one NIC card and here you can see these are the security groups allowed available here okay 
so that's all about security groups guys so whenever you're facing any issue connectivity or not able to reach a particular service not able to get particular service from your ec2 instance blindly navigate to security groups and verify security group port number statuses okay so in our next video we are going to discuss uh, some more topics on our ec2 thank you